Money Moves with Mem 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, gentlemen, it's a motherfucking movie. So, we're going to start off this video today with the topic of the video. Um, is modern American black women still in church waiting for God to send him send them a man I know you all have heard this before you know um um oh god I'm praying god's going to send me a man and stuff like that etc hit the comments you know what I'm saying hit the comments you guys know what I'm talking about um these are the same women that will be say they looking for a man but every time a guy like me look at me right now like i'm kind of i just got off work i haven't combed my hair all morning period i don't you know what i'm saying i don't care you know um i'm not broke though you know um and so a guy like me walks up to them without the vest etc i just look like a random black dude no stuck up you know arrogant um leave me alone oh oh the 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 old uh uh switcheroo knowing she looking for somebody i got a boyfriend oh my man at the house right now you know um these women are out here actively looking for something that god it's not going to give them, you know, um, I would say that one to 2% of the church population of these older women, you know, cause you, you know, you get older, you start to get, try to get yourself to God cause you know, your time coming and it's getting closer. Your bones don't work the way. So a lot of these women in church, you know, and they're praying that a man is going to just come into their life and take all her pain away, pay her bills, take her trash out, cut the grass, take her shopping, take her to from take her from her church house to an extravagant lifestyle, you know, but what we're seeing is we're seeing more and more often modern black women who are in the church year after year pass. Oh, I just still ain't found him. I can't find the man. You know, I don't know what to do. You know, absolutely insane how you know, you would think that if you're in a church, you are a good woman. You are a godly woman. You're going to be heaven sent. You're looking for a man. So obviously you're going to be nice to the guys who's approaching you because you never know. Because I thought that Jesus and everybody and Jesus and all the godly people, a lot of these guys was average looking people. Angels come in disguises. Husbands come in disguises. Husbands come in all different varieties, shape, and sizes. Husbands can have a nappy hair like mine, you know, or 
He could be that homeless guy going through the trash can. You never know. You you never know. You know what I'm saying? So, um, first of all, I hate when women try to use God as, oh, they're not praying for a real man to come in the house. They're praying on a sucker to come along. They're praying for a sucker to come along and pay their bills. Come along and so they can live off of you. It's absolutely insane. And and the whole time when I was younger, I never knew what that mean. All these single women in the front row of the church. All these single women in the front row of the church. Lusting. If this guy put a hundred dollars in the collection place, she thinking about giving him that thing. You know. Oh, he be dressed up looking good. Look at Mr. Charles up there looking all nice and sharp in his suit. You know, I might just got to call him later on, man. It, it's, it's absolutely insane. It's absolutely ridiculous how, you know, um, um, things are moving in the black community. You know, how far off black women is in the black community that is so bad that you guys are asking for something that you're not even ready for you all know that god's not going to give you something that you that you're not ready for god's going to continue to give you people that you can probably get over on use you know what i'm saying jason and all and the only thing i can picture god doing is stacking them sins on you you know, stacking them sins on you in the club on Friday and the church on Sunday and the club on Friday, Saturday, hot girl summer all month in the church praying that God forgive her for all the things that she done did on this hot girl, hot girl summer, all the things she done did to countless number of men. It's absolutely insane. It has to change. You know, um, I'm focused. I'm geared. So we got to get to the money. You know, we got to get to the money, fellas. I'm not trying to impress. Dressed to impress who? You. Not even in my league. But like, share, and subscribe. That's all I got for the video. And I always remember, fella, it's a motherfucking movie. Over and out.